like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Dude, you're out here playing with Barbies. Are I'm you a, serious? I'm, I'm four Barbies. years old. I love Barbies. What's up? Are you four years old? You don't like Barbies? No. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I'm about to put you in the Barbie land. What? Uh. <laughs> oh my god, Ken, are you okay? <laughs> Where? <laughs> What am I wearing? You're in Barbie land. Barbie land? Yeah. Did you just call me Ken? I'm not Ken. I think you should talk to. Ready? Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Oh, my God. This is Sports Barbie. Hi, Barbie. And then this is Country Barbie. Howdy, Barbie. And then this is Beach Barbie. Hi, Barbie. And then this is Summer Barbie. Hi, Barbie. And then that's Alan. So I just found this dude just laying in the grass and he just he said that he came from the real world. Esto no es posible. So why don't you like Barbies? Well, I guess there is a background story. When I was 10 years old, uh, I had a Barbie. And I was really embarrassed that I had a Barbie. Well, why don't we just go show you how to do it? Stop playing with him, Riot. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to go. Barbies can do anything here. There's teachers that are Barbies, staff that are Barbies. Wow, that's, that's great. I mean, so this whole place is ran by Barbies? Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Jobs. This is the same Barbie I had when I was little. Oh, I'm back in the regular world. Sweet. How was it? You know what? I actually learned something, Branson. I learned that it's okay to like different things. So you taught me a very valuable Stop lesson. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. What's up, Vaqueros? Don't forget, Friday, September 1st, here at 6 p.m. before the first home football game. We're going to have our football tailgate. We're going to have pizza. Freshmen, y'all get pizza for free. Everybody else, $2. Snow cones, $2. Pop out. We're going to have can jam, cornhole, and face paint. Make sure you all come. September 6th is Makeup Picture Day. Call slips will be sent out to your class. If you have not already received your student ID, you will get it after taking your photo. here, one of your new assistant principals, super excited to be here. I have an announcement from ASB. At every home football game this season, you can receive one of these really cool wristbands if you're the first 200 students to get to the game. We're gonna collect these over the season just for home games. And at the end of the season, if you have every color that we provided during our home games, you'll get a prize. Hey there, Vaqueros. Don't forget to come out to our first home football game Friday night. Check in with Berlin and Skyler with the Barnyard to get your free wristbands and bandana and face paint will be provided. We'll see you there. What's up, girls? It's Madison Triplett with your new EC update segment called Moments with Madison. As we get pretty busy with our teenage lives, I think it's really important that we look back at some old memories that we had and be grateful for them. Since this month's theme is Barbie on the EC Update, we're going to ask you guys what your favorite Barbie memory is. My favorite memory of Barbie, when we were little, we would build the Barbie Lego dream house at our house. My favorite Barbie moment as a child was when I would give my Barbies new hairstyles and they would look like rock stars. I used to baptize my Barbies. <laughs> My favorite Barbie memory is probably getting my first Barbie doll dream house. I don't know, I always played with the Ken dolls. <laughs> I think my favorite time playing with Barbies was when they used to go on the slide. Um, 
I just thought it was really cool, you know, watching them just spin all the way down to the bottom. That's all. I had a three-story Barbie dream house. <laughs> uh, we used to play, play with Barbies, Barbies together. together. When I was little, I used to give my Barbies haircuts and paint their hair with nail polish. I'd say my favorite memory playing with Barbies was taking the heads off them. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still... All right, guys, today I'm with our first male athlete of the week, Brent Barker. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. How does it feel to score seven touchdowns, tying the school record in your most recent game against Valley Center? I mean, it's a big accomplishment for me and the team. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for my team, then I wouldn't have got there. So. What are your main goals for this football season in the future? Uh, to win the league and go on to beat it and beat all the teams in our league. All right, guys, I'm here with our first female athlete of the week, Cora. How did it feel to get fifth place in your first varsity run of freshman? It was really fun and really cool. Um, what are your goals for this upcoming season? Um, uh, win some race. All right, thank you. Hey, Vicaros, guess what? Homecoming time. The dance is on September 30th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Make sure you get your tickets starting September 1st, and guest passes have to be turned in by September 22nd. Tickets are $25 with an ASB card and $30 without. Running for homecoming court. Applications start August 28th at the finance office. You can pick them up. They're due September 1st. Turn them in to either Miss Garcia, Miss Pitondo, or you can scan this QR code. Five star student now works on a point system. Absences and truancies will lead to points, and if you get 25 points, you will be put on the loss of privilege list. Being on this list means that you won't be able to go to games, dances, or play sports. To games, now all you need to do is download the 5 Star app. While you can still get in without the app, it'll make the process a lot quicker. If you haven't already, remember to download the 5 Star app. Are you interested in joining any clubs or sports this year? Make sure to come out to our club day. We will have over 50 plus different clubs and sports with booths for you to sign up for anything that interests you. Make sure you to come out to our club day. It will be in front of the office at lunch today. Brandon and Justin try girls volleyball. What's up guys? Welcome back to Brandon and Justin try. Today we're going to be trying girls volleyball. Learning multiple drills and here's Madison to explain them. First, they're gonna serve. We're gonna serve at them and they're gonna pass. Then we're gonna hit at them and they're gonna hit. Madison's gonna demonstrate how to serve. We're gonna demo the whole game of volleyball. Not we are, they are. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Do a demonstration of blocking. Now they're gonna hit at us. They're gonna throw the ball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you. No. <laughs> 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 Thank, Thank you guys, guys for watching. watching Brandon and Justin try. Until next time, uh, we're Brandon and Justin and...
Let's talk about the benefits of the ASB card. By getting your ASB card, you'll be able to get into any sports game for free. Now that football games are $10, you'll already be saving money. You also get a discount on all dances and school-related events. You can buy it here at the finance office. Or here on the El Capitan High School website. By clicking on Web Store, it will take you to the page where you can scroll down and find where it says 23 to 24 ASB card. Also find other things like freshman spirit packs and insurance for your Chromebooks. Go check out our web store, Vaqueros, because you'll find a whole lot more. High school sports are part of the reason the Grossmont Union High School District is so great. Athletics provide opportunities for teamwork, fitness, and building character. Also, athletics show what hard work can achieve. And some of us can even earn a college scholarship or qualify for the Olympics. But sometimes the behavior in the stands can overshadow our achievement on the field. Hello, Grossmont Conference. I'm Donnie Carroll, Grossmont Athletic Conference President. How we behave at games is a reflection of who we are. Let's turn the table on bad behavior and show friends, students, our kids, and the other team a side of ourselves that makes them truly proud. We are all on this team because we love it. Winning is amazing, but it's not the only thing. I love it when my parents and friends show up and cheer for me. Hearing parents yell at the coaches and the officials is embarrassing. Please remember, refs are people too. They are trying their best to call a fair and correct game, even if you don't agree with the call. I hear all the time the crazy things parents say. It's frustrating when you hear parents in the bleachers while you're on the court, being mean, saying awful things. It makes kids not want to play anymore. It makes it feel like the parents are making it about themselves instead of the players in the game. Parents who lose their mind when we don't score aren't helping. It can actually be really distracting. We should be able to hold our heads high after the game, win or lose. And there's no acceptable reason to insult individual players. Hey, and enough with all of the swearing. My games are the highlight of my week, and I like to enjoy them. Anger and rage have no place here. Sportsmanship is simple. It means treating other students, fans, and opponents as you would like your school's players to be treated. It also means showing respect to our game's officials. Without them, our student-athletes don't get to play the sport they love. Only then are we worthy of the title, CIF student-athlete, families, and coaches. So let's get back to doing what we do best, Grossmont Conference, great competition, and the best fans in the state. Thank you for being part of the change, and thank you for being there to lift us up. Be the change! Speaking of falling, did you hear about the fall rally coming up? It's on September 8th, and the theme is Wonders of the World. I better see you there! This year's fall rally theme is Wonders of the World. The rally is on September 8th, during fourth period. The dress-up theme is vacation, so don't forget to wear your best AK fit. See you there, Vaqueros. Just getting over challenges, like uh, not being afraid to take the opportunity in football, not being afraid to ask questions to your teachers when you need help. Bravery is when you accomplish things, even though you may feel nervous. A, that's a big topic, but that's people that are in wheelchairs still running their own life. That's the military guy saving our country. That's the guy taking care of his family, working two, three jobs. Bravery, bravery to me is a huge thing. Okay. And that's, it's all that stuff. It's holding responsibility and take care of your own. Uh -huh. You know what it is. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Take out your phones and take a survey right now on 5 Star Students to tell us what you would like to see in the next EC update.